They got into some beef, huh? Yeah, apparently. Like, um, Jeremy was in the hotel. Yair walked up to him, and they started having, like, a conversation, and it didn't go well, so Jeremy pushed him. And then they had to be separated in, the, like, the hotel the next day. Wow, like leaving? Yep. And then Jeremy did an interview on Helwani, and he was like, you know, I'm from the streets. He's like, I'm not from a karate school, so I don't fucking play that shit. You know, like he was ready yeah. to fucking fight. No, he's a very real dude. And that's like one thing, like fighting Jeremy Stevens, like there's no, there's there's honesty be- behind his him eyeballing you. Yeah. He's like there's crazy. honesty be- between like, yo, yeah, we're doing this for sport. But like if we stepped outside in the parking lot, it'd be the same. Like Yair tried to say some shit like uh, I fought with a bad eye because he got his eyes socket uh, broken or his eye swollen against Frankie Edgar. No, you got punched in the face. You got you got held down and elbowed and punched your face punched in. That's why you fought with a bad eye. You didn't have an accidental eye poke. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like even that, like everything around your eye got broken. I so get it. <laughs> an eye poke is an accident, but you're told right before the fight, especially now that they changed the rules a little bit. You're not supposed to extend your hand out. Like yeah, that. I'm gonna. Well, the thing was like. He got punched and he like tried to swat the hand down. Who a uh, year? Yeah, yeah. It was an accidental eye total, poke. Total, total accident. I just think the aftermath was a little insane. I know Jeremy wasn't trying to like. He paid a lot of money to train for this fight. He, you know, spent a lot of time away from his family. I know he's a big family guy. Like, trust me, he was not trying to be like, yeah, I want to get out of here. Fifteen seconds in. Yeah. The fans' reaction to, like, all those Mexican fans should be ashamed of themselves. Like, one of the funniest things, and it, it's not, it's a little off, on topic, but off topic. Like, Jessica I was speaking about it, and she was like, you know, I really don't like giving my opinion on things because I value my opinion more than other people's, you know, like she didn't give a fuck, but then she just went into how it was just disgusting as, like, a fighter, and we shouldn't even go back to Mexico and whatnot, you know? You fought right. in Mexico, right? Well, she fought in Mexico in the same car as me. Yeah. Yeah. And that nothing like that happened, you know? Yeah. But the fans went fucking crazy. I heard fans were punching Jeremy Stevens. Really? So, bro, there's a video that, like, the fucking... Oh, it's hysterical, actually. So, Bisping's crazy. Yeah. Uh, when the fans all started throwing shit, Bisping started, like, shadow boxing, like he was about to get in a fight. And then the other dude who was there doing the announcing with Bisping crawled under the table and was like, I'm just going to hide under the table. And Bisping went, I'm not going to fucking hide. Like, I'm not hiding under the table. Yeah. And then turned around and Bisping started like shadow boxing. Then they must have been like, Bisping, you got to go in the ring and interview the people. And then you saw it. Remember, we were watching. He yeah. went up to Ayer, tapped him and on the like back. ripped away. Yeah, Ayer like turned around like about, like yelling like he was about to do something. Bisping would have fucked him up. Yeah. I want. I almost tweeted like, "Dude, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Like, Bisping would give you the biz. Bad. Bisping would fucking hurt you. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you have a a lucky shot chance, and that's it. No, nah, you know what I mean. I don't even think that a sucker punch. Like he's not. Bisping would fucking hurt. He him. had gloves on still. Yeah, Bisping would have hurt him out real quick. I just, I don't know. I, uh, it was disgusting. To I see think Yair yeah, is a fan. very talented fighter. I think he's a good fighter. I just, I just get this like. Cockiness, prep boy kind of vibe out of him, yeah. like entitlement. I could see that. Like, well, like Jeremy Stevens said, he's not from you, you know, he's from the streets. He's not from a karate gym. Like, maybe he's a little. Uh, and even I saw people posting, like uh, journalists saying, like they shouldn't fast track Ayer Rodriguez. Like, if he beat Jeremy Stevens, they would probably give him a top five opponent. You know what I mean? When it's not really, I agree. Deserved. No, I think. Well, hang on. I thought his win over Korean Zombie was very fluke. Well, not flu- it was a fluke elbow. That's oh yeah. You know what? In second thought, he was losing until he yeah. Korean Zombie was gonna out. win. Yeah, 